Hello YouTube! Today I'm going to be making some videos about subs. I'm looking to just do some introductory work here. I'm hoping that you've already seen my series on functions because that's really a better starting point. But if this is your first video, well, this should be fine. This first one, I'm just going to talk about what is a sub and how do they differ from functions. I've got, this is even going to come complete with a two slide PowerPoint. So, on to slide two. When I talk about subs, it's interchangeable with sub procedures, but pretty self-explanatory as to why I would just say subs. So, uh, really, I'm just going to start off contrasting sub procedures with functions. A sub procedure does not return a value, whereas a function does return a value. I will show you some examples of what this looks like shortly. That is the difference, right? They each can accept parameters, so no parameters, one parameter, two parameters. Um, they have, they're similar, but they have different structure. So we're just going to start off by staring at some code here. Uh, in my next video, I'll go through the whole hello world uh, idea of just creating a very, very simple sub. Here we're just going to look at some subs. So what I did is I made a function and I made a sub right here. They're pretty similar. They have slightly different names. Notice that function starts off with the word function and sub starts off with the word sub of uh, the name. The reason I couldn't call them both add one is because you cannot have a sub and a function that had the same number and type of parameters with the same name. Uh, it would just, it's just too confusing, so it doesn't work. But the thing to point out is that a function has a return type, whereas a sub doesn't. Right, and so that's really the difference. I've been talking for two minutes now, and that is all I've had to say really, is that a sub and a function, whereas a function returns something, a sub doesn't. Also notice that we're defining our return type here, and we have a return statement here. Since a sub doesn't return anything, sub doesn't have a return statement. So I guess, I mean, that might be a little bit difficult to digest, but as soon as you get it, it's a done deal. This form doesn't do much. It's just a simple form with a single button. And when the user clicks the button, we're going to head over to the click event. I've created a single variable called my number of type integer, and I've initialized it to 10. And if you've looked at the contents of my function and my sub, you can see that all I'm doing is that I'm adding one. The more interesting part to discuss is how I need to implement these. So I'm going to start off by using a function. And if I wanted to solve this problem using a function, presumably I'm going to start off, I'm just going to use a message box. I like to use message box to show my results. And what I want to do is I want to take my number and I want to pass that to a function called plus one. And what I'm passing is something called my number. So in other words, this means pop up a message box. And what I want to show is whatever the function plus one returns. All right, a function returns something, so this is a valid statement. And when I go to run this, I click it and I get 11. Life is good. All right, so message box dot show and just whatever that returned. Now, you might be thinking if I wanted to use a sub, well, I probably just want to turn this plus one into an add one, right? Because like I said, they do the same thing. They're pretty similar, but that doesn't work. Right, and I get an error message right up front saying expression does not produce a value. So, that if you recall what I said about a subroutine not returning a value, well, it doesn't return anything. It does something, presumably, but it doesn't return anything. And so I can't show nothing in a message box. So what needs to happen, presumably here, there are other ways I could solve this problem, but I really don't just don't want to have that statement there. What I probably want to do is show that message box down in my subroutine. Right? I've done my math here, and since I'm not going to be returning my math up to here, then I should probably just print it out right here. And this is going to be a bit different. Um, so the variable is called my value. But uh, if I just run this, nothing's going to happen because I've got my subroutine down here, which takes a number, it adds one to that number, and it shows it in the message box but I never called the subroutine. So I need to call that subroutine and I want to pass it my number. And as always, I, I just do this for demonstration purposes, but I pass it a variable called my number. And once it reaches down here, it gets cast as something called my value. So when I run this program, I get 11. 
and life is good. So notice that it, uh, that that idea that these things are really similar. They have different keywords here. That suggests one has a return type, one doesn't. You can usually use either one to solve your problems, um, but the way that you structure your program is different depending on the choice. In my next video, I will walk you through the syntax and how to create a basic sub. Thanks for watching.